Hello everybody, what is up? Welcome back to my channel, long time no see. Um, I just got a new camera, I'm working with it, I'm just learning how to use it. This is my first time using it. I have a disaster here, so we're gonna do kind of a vanity clean with me, slash vanity tour, slash maybe a BoxyCharm unboxing, I guess. We have some stuff from BoxyCharm that I need to put away. So yeah, let's get into it. So this is what we're working with. It is a disaster. Um, I'm going to try to set my camera up and we're gonna start putting stuff away and cleaning. Well, maybe I'll just, I don't know. All right. So this is my face products drawer. This is where I got my foundations and BB creams, tint and moisturizers. My concealers are down here. And then over here is my primers and a headband. Got some makeup wipes and stuff back there. So this needs to go in there. It's my pretty fresh tinted moisturizer from ColourPop. Got the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glow Lotion. The glowy primer. It's got to go in there as well. Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Primer needs to go in there. And I think that's all from right here. Oh, my um, collab concealer. That needs to go in there as well. Alrighty. Uh, this is just a washcloth. I actually need to wash this one, so I'm going to throw it in my laundry hamper. I just have a washcloth in my vanity so that I can like wipe my hands off on it, wipe my makeup brushes on it, whatever. Those need to go in there. This is a travel size of the You to the People Adaptogen um, Soothe and Hydrate Activated Mist. I actually used up this whole thing and I loved it so much that I bought the full size and then I refilled the small one with the full size so I can just put it in my little travel drawer down here. This is where I've got all my travel size products that a mess. Anyways, like I was saying, a lot of this is from like vacation and I need to put everything away. And then some of it's just like stuff, it just all needs to be put away. Yeah, that's my little guinea pig back there. Her name is Sawyer. She's very, very cute. I'm sorry I look like a hot mess. I just got back from the lake with my friend and it was a lot of fun, but I, my hair is um, my hair is a mess. So yeah, we're this is where we're at. Hey. Face products drawer. So I've got my bronzers, blush, powders, highlights, and I've been putting like these um little quad, a trio, and then a duo. So these little like cream face palettes. I've been putting in there. This one is from RMS Beauty. This one is from Laura Geller. I got this one on BoxyCharm. I haven't tried that one yet. And then this one is from Kosas. The blush in here is really, really nice. And I really like the RMS Beauty one too. So yeah, I've been putting these. All right, yeah, I've just been putting those right there. This is where my highlighters go. I've got the Milani Baked Highlighter and Dolce Perla right there. Um, that's Ofra Glaze Donut. Elf Cosmetics Heart Defenser. It is gorgeous. <clears throat> what else do I have in here? This highlighter is so freaking old. It's the NYX uh, Ritualistic Illuminator. That's what it says. I definitely hit pan on this. I haven't really used it in a long time. It wasn't a bad highlighter if I remember correctly. I just don't really use it a lot. And I've also got my Essence Pure Nude Highlighter and my favorite ColourPop Super Shock Cheek and Flexitarian. On my blushes, I've got a few more blushes I need to put in there. This is newer to me. It's the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Set and Blush in the shade Rosewood. It's really, really pretty. It's got a little bit of a sheen to it. The M Cosmetics Magic, bleh, Magic Hour Blush, which I love. This is the ColourPop. I don't even remember what this is now. One of the ColourPop Kathleen Lights blushes. I don't remember which one it is. It's really, really pretty. I don't know if you can tell in the pan. 
it's kind of a glowy blush and it's a little bit corally. I really like it for summer. <clears throat> Got one in there. Oh, my butter bronzer. Elf Primer Infused and Forever. Elf Primer Infused Bronzer and Forever Sun Kissed. Some powders that I'm just going to put back here. This is a really, really nice powder. I like it a lot so far. <clears throat> and my two favorites, number seven, Lift and Illuminate, and It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination. Those are going in there. Oh, I gotta put my Tasha Silk Canvas away too. And this goes right in there for right now. Over here, I've got my, like a higher end palette. So Violet Lost Essentials, which I got in Boxy Charm. That's gonna go over here. I've got my Dubious Place palette over here. Um, a, because my drugstore side is a little bit full and B, it's very affordable, but I kind of feel like it's more of a high end palette. So that's why it's over there. Put a beauty nude light. My little Makeup Geek quad. Um, that I put in my high end, just joys of living close to the fire department. The sirens go off all the time. <clears throat> so these are drugstore. So they go over here. Hello, water. Got all my drugstore palettes over here. All right. These are two lip products. I've got a few more in my purse that I need to get out. But um, we're just going to put these away for right now. So they go in my lip product drawer. I've got like glosses and lip stains here. More traditional like bullet lipsticks here. Some liquid lipsticks. And then like lip liners and lip balms over here. I kind of want to do like a whole like the palette tag video. Jessica Braun did one for lip products. And I think that would be really fun. So I kind of want to do that. These two are my products that have completely shattered. I've tried to press them both back in a couple of times. This is Becca Moonstone and the Maybelline City Bronzer. So we're just going to leave them out for now because I've tried to press them in. I'm just going to leave them sitting out here so that when I want to use them, they're like not in a drawer and I don't have to worry about them making a huge mess. <clears throat> All right. Got a little hair clip over here that I need to just put in this drawer. This is instructions. Like, you totally care. This is instructions for a, um, a sweater that I just got from Etsy. And it's just how to wash it and take care of it. So I'm just going to put it in this drawer for right now for when I need it. I need to wipe this all down really quick. This is the Caldrea uh, countertop spray. This is, it's the Gilded Balsam Birch scent. It smells really, really good. I like it a lot. And this is just um, like a clear plastic thing that I, and some contact paper that I got to put over my vanity. So I'm not worried about like what I'm using on it exactly. If you haven't invested, invested, like they're expensive. If you haven't invested in some microfiber towels, do it because they are fantastic. They're like the only thing I use for cleaning anymore. There's some hair over there. Here's my setting sprays. In case you're curious. Setting sprays, brushes. I've got brow products, eyeliners, some cream face products like my Fenty Beauty Matchsticks. Physicians Formula, um, Sculpting Bronzer, Healy's Beauty Bronzer, my little perfume roller balls, Physicians Formula, Dewey Blush Elixirs over here. This Maybelline Master Strobing Liquid I don't use very much, but it's over here anyways. My ColourPop Blush, not blush, Light Stick. Got like my brow pomade, gel liner, this little milk makeup thing I think I got in BoxyCharm. It's lip and cheek stick. It's Iconic London Illuminator, my pink pot, some pencil sharpeners.
I have been getting the BoxyCharm Premium and Face Box the last few months. I just canceled it because I'm not I'm not super super pleased with the products and the quality of the products. These are Sephora samples. Um but it just keeps it seems kind of meh to me. It doesn't really seem worth the money and I'd rather spend my money on products that I know I'm going to use and you know save money that way. So I got the Tarte Tartiest Pro Remix. All Tarte shadows smell super good. Hi baby! What are you doing back there? It smells like chocolate. There's a lot of shimmers in this palette and I like shimmers but there are three matte shades this like this like bone colored this like crease shade and then the black is also matte and it's just I'm definitely gonna try it and see what I think I don't know why the three are like a different shape like three are circles I don't know I'm definitely gonna try it out and see what I like I'm not the biggest fan of Tarte and Too Faced products but we'll see I got this Living Proof Restore Instant Protection Oilless Heat and UV Protection Instant Protective Hairspray. I got the Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinol Sleeping Mask. The box is a little damaged. I'm very excited for this. I actually wanted to try this. Um, so once I use up the other sleeping mask I have, I'm going to use this. And then they sent me two brushes. And two of the NARS lip pigments. These are billion dollar brushes. And it's like their contour. Hold on, where's the card? Sculpting Duo Brush for contouring and highlighting. I might use these. It seems a little bit more fluffy than what I like for contouring. So, you know, we'll see. And there's two, so I might give one to a friend or something. And then the NARS Power Matte Lip pigments. It's supposed to be a fluid pigment complex liquefied with zero gravity feel. Introduces infinite matte color saturation with ultra flexible long lasting wear. Applies like an ink. So it's like an ink stain. It's a pretty color. I'll probably wear it. I'll definitely give it a shot. I have, don't know why they sent me two. It was obviously a mistake. So definitely going to try those out and then I got a box of like face sheet masks so I'll definitely try those out and you know use those as well all right guys so that I think that is everything for this video today I hope that you found it interesting I hope my air conditioner is not too loud I definitely need to work on the lighting in my bedroom as well um so yeah let me know what you think in the comments down below do you like these kinds of videos I love declutters and clean with me's so those are right up my alley. Um, make sure you hit that like button if you would. It helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you in my next one. Thank you. Have a great day.